All right, so here's another parametric problem for you to check out. Um, so um, this time we notice we're given uh, the velocity of the particle. And so uh, make sure we note that this is not the position function. This is already the velocity function. And we know a position at a particular time. So where is the particle at time 4? Well, we need to figure out how far it moved from time 2 to time 4. Um, and the tricky part of this, um, it's sort of like uh, stuff we did a long time ago, except now we've got an x and a y coordinate. And so for the x coordinate, um, we're just going to figure out, OK, it started at the x coordinate of 4 and then we're going to integrate the x velocity over the interval from 2 to 4 and we do this all in our calculator and this will give me the net change in the x position add it to where I started and I end up at this x coordinate 57.209 and then we do the same thing for the y coordinate so y started at negative 2 um, and then we integrate the y velocity from 2 to 4 and we get this coordinate and so then the answer is an xy coordinate so 57.209 comma 3.763 uh, for part B, how far did the particle travel? Um, that's the integral of the speed. Um, so the integral of the speed over that interval. So from 0 to 4, speed is the length of the velocity vector. So Pythagorean theorem. And remember, we already had the velocity formula, so I didn't need to take any derivatives or anything. So I just integrate this. Be careful with your parentheses. Hopefully I was. Let me know if I made a mistake. Um, but that should be the total distance traveled um, in any direction um, over that interval. Uh, next one, uh, find the equation of the tangent line. Well, of course, we need to know where the point is. So I plug 1 into x and y to get the x and y coordinates. I need to know the slope, but slope for parametric, not too bad, dy dt over dx dt. And so I take the derivative of y, divide by the derivative of x, um, and then plug in 1. Uh, when I plug in 1, I get 9 fourths, and then I just do point slope form. And so we get... Uh, y plus 11 equals 9 fourths times x plus 6. Where is the tangent line horizontal? Well, when the derivative is 0, when is the derivative 0, when the numerator is 0. So we set dy dt equal to 0, get two values, t equals plus or minus 2. Uh, when is the tangent line vertical? Well, when the slope is undefined, which is when the denominator is 0. So I set uh, dx dt equal to 0 and I get 2 and you notice the problem here um, 2 is on both lists so negative 2 is no trouble um, for sure the slope is negative 2 or the slope is 0 and the tangent line is horizontal when t is negative 2 and then I can plug negative 2 into my x and y coordinates to find um, the point um, 2 um, it's not it's on both lists um, we could um, play around with L'Hopital's rule and so forth, um, but we're not going to get bogged down with that too much. But um, it can't be both horizontal and vertical at the same time, so we would need some more uh, investigation there. Like I said, not real concerned about it. This is a graph of the function on Desmos. Um, and you can see um, I had said the slope was, or the tangent line is horizontal at the point 24 comma 16. And I think that looks pretty good here, right? Uh, about 24 comma 16 right there. Looks like the tangent line is, is vertical or horizontal, sorry. And over here you can see this is this weird point. Uh, this is the point when t equals negative 2 and we've got sort of a sharp cusp there. Uh, hope that went well. Uh, Carry on.